Hey troops, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm gonna do just a quick vibe. Ooh, I just cut out the tower and the Queen of Cups. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick, quick, quick. Okay, so happy new moon, happy new moon, happy new moon. I am going to pull six cards only. I will only clarify if it's a major arcana, but I really just want the six cards, okay? Because six is represented by Taurus. The number six even though i know it's the fifth house troops let me turn this up i know it's the fifth house okay but i'm going by um with the number it represents you know peace harmony cooperation so hold on let me just talk to the cards so I'm only doing six cards, troops. I'm not clarifying, okay? So let's see what we get. So, new moon. I am going to do a new moon video for you, okay? I will, I will. We'll do that on Monday. But let's just see. We'll break down Taurus then, okay? So let's see. This is just kind of like the vibes for today. What it, you know, should be bringing, could be bringing, what you're looking at, that type of stuff. Okay, it's not necessarily all about passion. So we got the lovers. So it, it's, you know, it's, it's Gemini. Um, let me just get the cards out and see what I see. Do you see what I see? Color me bad just came to me. <laughs> color, me color me bad. Is it me or more? I think it's me or more. That I'm thinking of. I wasn't even crazy about that song. Okay, Ten of Pence. Let's see, let's see. The Hermit, the Hermit. The Death Card. Holy cannoli. Holy cannoli, my little followers. What is this all about? Three, three major arcana already. Oh, and the moon popped out. Anything else flip? Nope. Okay, I want one more. As I'm saying this, another one pops out. Do, do, do. And I almost just said another one bites a dust. Another one bites a dust. Let's get one more. One more for Venus. This just flipped. Seven of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pence. So let me um let me give us a good look. So I'm gonna show you one more time. Okay. The lovers. Gemini. Ten of Pence. Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Hermit. Virgo. The Death Cad. Scorpio, but I'm feeling cappy, and that happened before. I got the moon card, which is Pisces. And we got the seven of wands. Leo Sag. Leo Sag. Aries. So. If I was to. You gotta give me a minute with this one, troops. This lovers, okay, it's it's like the whole Adam and Eve thing right now. Um, it, it's speaking of humanity to me. <sighs> Whatever this is, yeah, it it is um it's guided. Your decision is guided. Okay. Um, ten of Pence, happy home life, stable money. Thinking, this card is all about right now, thinking about what's next. I have this one looking over at this one. So, to me, it's, ooh, it's just thoughts of What's next? Okay. 
and it, it's it's Virgo energy, um, soul searching, seeing the light, hard work. Um, it's it's being guided again. It's whatever this is being guided. For I guess for whatever is next, whether it's work, relationship, a move, okay, it's all about what's next. Especially, I mean, you got three major kind of back to back, mind, body, spirit, you know, and it's like, you know, especially. Are we recording? Okay, um, mind, body, spirit type energy. Something is. This is definitely rebirth and going towards the unknown. I don't really see anyone being confused. I kind of look at the moon as the moon is coming in and helping. Um, this moon card reminds me a lot of Leo. And Leo represents compassion. But it's Pisces. Very intuitive. This is a, a transformation that you guys are going through, went through, are about to go through, okay? And it's like you're defending yourself. It's, it's not a blockage, okay? It's, this new moon is gonna, it's more insertive energy okay um like nobody gets in your way you know this you know the seven of pence i mean the wands is, is definitely standing your ground it's beliefs it's a lot of things but look how assertive this energy is it's like nope i'm right or i'm wrong it's one or the other but standing firm you know like ready to zing anyone off the head that even dare says anything but like I don't know if that's the the best approach here because what well, it, it's standing your ground okay for sure but like again I, I I now I never noticed this before I see a face here so it's like it you're really protected and, and Venus has a lot to do with your finances too with work and you have the ten of pence here and I, I mean, I do, I see a face in here that I've never picked up on before. You know, so, you know, if this is political, all right, because um, I'm feeling political, if by any means, this is just somebody who's in their authority, I also look at this as somebody not compromising. But it's all about it's all about thoughts. This is an important decision and c considering, you know, it's the lovers. It is it, it's like in your destiny. You know, it's it's in your path. It's it's meant this decision is meant to pull at your heartstrings, okay? Um, but it also brings success. Could even be, you know, money, something with your finances right now, for sure. I mean, it's also happy, it's also happy family life comfortability the hermit soul searching spiritual work this is most definitely a transformation that someone is in the midst of there's no question there in the moon right now it's but to me it's not even unknown or confusion it, it's not it's like it's not waiting. 
with it is, is the power of the moon. So by the next full moon, you whatever you're doing for work or whatever this is, you're standing firm. So say so say it's a relationship, right? And you got, you know, outsiders like, oh, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, what are you doing? Or this is moving too quick. Oh, what do you mean you broke up? You have children. Why don't you try? All aspects. It's like that by the by the next full moon in Taurus. Okay, which I believe is well, it wouldn't be the full moon in Taurus, but it it's the full moon in Taurus energy. Um, it, it's the twenty something. Okay, you're gonna be standing firm, whether it's work or a relationship. No one's gonna be able to tell you nothing. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Hold on. Next full moon. So it's May 18th, okay? So. Um, hold on. I'm trying to figure out. That song just came to me again. We did figure that song out. It was um, the breakup song. It was um, Greg, what is it, K-H-I-N, I believe. But hold on, this is what I'm more focused on. Within this time frame, too, you might have trouble with your feet, your pineal gland, or your toes. You might start having trouble. We also have a kidney, urinary, bladder, veins, and skin. So within this time, okay, that might be happening too. I don't know why it even showed me that, but I went right to it. So just, you know, I was just saying that today too. Take care of your feet, guys. It's, people neglect that type of stuff. And um, I couldn't find what I was looking for. You neglect that type of stuff, okay? And it's like we walk on them every day. Don't, don't neglect them. Um, so basically by, I'd say by May 20th, whatever decision you make. So even if you already made this decision or you're about to make this decision or this decision comes in over the weekend or today, whatever the case may be, you're standing your ground with this decision. Because to me right here, this is all about thinking, thoughts. What's next? But whatever this is, it, it's still the Ten of Pence, guys. I, that's that's good. That's fantastic, actually. And if it's a partnership, it, it looks like it's going to be really, really good. All right, you guys, you would definitely balance each other out. But this is what this is saying to me. By the next full moon, because it's the new moon, and this is what it's bringing, a partnership, whether it's work or love. And by the next full moon, like I said, regardless of the outcome, you're standing strong. So like I said, if it's a relationship, you know how people, you got the outside, it's like, oh, I can't believe you're going to do that again. Or why would you put yourself through that? It's like, you're going to be like, enough's enough. Or I'm going to ding something off your head. Or you're going to start isolating from this group of friends. And if it's work, and say it's it, not even if it's political, whatever it is, it's, it's your belief. Say it's a business. You go into business together. Whatever this is, you're going to be standing strong, especially through this transformation. So it's a beautiful message, guys, okay? It's, it's stable. It's solid. It's guided. It's transformational. And if you don't have those ten of pens, that's what it's going to bring. But someone's looking at this as whatever this is, business relationship, or a, a lover proposition, whatever it is, is solid. Somebody did the work. And I think when it comes together that you guys are going to transform, or one is, to me, it's it's a partnership, whether it's work or love, okay? And <clears throat> even if you're just working with a coworker, you know what I mean? Um you guys are going to go through a transformation that's going to be beautiful. And by the next full moon, is no one can tell you. It was that energy I was feeling at first, like, 
I don't know if it's good or bad. Like whether you're right or wrong, you're standing in that belief. So it's it's actually a great thing. That is a lot of growth. Um, there was one more thing I wanted to point out. I'm trying to remember what it was. This year, humanity and spirituality are on the board. Beautiful transformation. By the next new moon, nobody can tell you nothing. It's not like, oh, I think you have all the answers. It's not like that. It's just, you're solid. Whatever this is, is solid. Okay? Beautiful read. I love you guys. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day. I'll just get a little peeky peeky. A little peeky peeky. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.